Hello, I'm Eric, a sales rep here at Atlantic British. Uh, today we're going to talk about building up a Discovery 2 into an off-road vehicle. They've gotten really affordable now. You can pick up a D2 for $3,500 to $5,000, put three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 in it, and have a very good off-road vehicle. Um, this one we picked up a couple years ago. We've been driving it around. We've used it as a test mule, so now we're going to build it up into an off-road truck. With Doug's help, we're going to put suspension, front and rear bumpers, and then slowly build it up into a lifestyle truck. We'll have videos um, that'll show Doug doing each process, and we'll post those as time goes on. This truck's in good shape. It's very straight for the year, and we've had it for a few years, as I said. So stay tuned, and we'll have more information as time goes on. Hi, I'm Doug, and welcome back to Project D2. One of the biggest improvements you can make on your vehicle once you've got the lift kit in is going to be tires and wheels. Obviously you can either go with an on-off-road combination or you can go with strictly off-road. It all depends on what you're going to use the vehicle for. But in this case what we've done is because we're going to be uh, showing this vehicle around that we like to be able to show its versatility, we've, we've installed an on-off-road combination where we've gone with a tire where we stepped it up to an LT 265 75 16 tire. Now LT designates light truck which is going to be a higher load range, it's going to be a tougher tire and you can tell by the aggressive tread pattern this is going to be good in mud and dirt. These tires, this combination with the steel wheels and the center cap which we stock will actually give you some good off-road grabability. You've got a nice aggressive tread pattern on there. Should you decide to go off-road only or as some guys do will carry an extra set of wheels and tires for off-road only will be with the terra firma beadlock wheels and then we've gone with the Wrangler MTRs Kevlars in the same size which is an LT265 7516 now the reason for the beadlock is that an aggressive off-road riding especially if you're around rocks and logs there's the possibility of the bead being pushed off the tire which is going to leave you with a flat tire out in the middle of the woods not a good situation so the bead lock will lock the bead of the tire to the wheel making it a lot harder for it to for that to happen secondly because of the Kevlar sidewalls on these tires they're a lot less prone to abrasive cuts rocks uh, I mean let's face it you got a lot of sharp objects out there you can scrub a sidewall on and pop a tire and again you want to try to avoid that situation as much as possible you're out there off road and you want to enjoy yourself do it with a set of tires that'll get you home and back so what we've done too is we these are available through us as a kit which is our 8924K kit and the reason being is that the bead locks are very hard to install and we have a local shop that will install them for us so you can buy them as a kit with the tires already mounted on the bead lock you'll use your original center caps and uh, it will come with the lug nuts so you can mount them up on the vehicle and if you keep tabs on our project we will have some photos and whatnot on our website where you'll be able to see what these look like on the vehicle we will be mounting them up just to show you uh, actually that's not only their aggressiveness but they're also a very attractive wheel so keep tabs on it and like I said you have two choices to go with on your on your upgrade on your D2 maybe you want both when you're ready to do so give a call to any of our knowledgeable salesmen 1-800-533-2210 and thanks for watching